Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra George Sturgis. Welcome to my channel, Authentic Beauty Handmade Dolls and Crafts. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a flower crown for your mermaid sock doll. Thank you so much for watching. In order to make this flower crown for your doll, all you're going to need is some fake flowers, um, some type of wire, and I got both of these from the flower section, I think, in Michaels. And it was very inexpensive. Maybe I even got the flowers from the dollar store, and I got the little um, brown wire from Michaels. But it was all very inexpensive, and you're also going to need a hot glue gun. That's it. And what you're going to do is measure your doll's head and with using the wire you're going to simply cut the wire twirl the wire around itself and then you're going to hot glue the flowers in place according to your liking now I know this video is really short but I try to make my videos to be a standalone meaning that if you're looking to make a flower crown but you're but you're not interested in making a mermaid tail or making a sock doll then you don't have to you know bore yourself with watching me do a whole bunch of other things when you only want to make a flower crown One of my favorite quotes is by Shakespeare, and I think it's something like, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. And I think that this little quote is one of my favorites because it's really about when you, like, you know, with Serena, you know, after she, how she had her baby, and they're like, oh, it's too bad, we're gonna drop you all the way down, we don't know what you're gonna do, but she was able to succeed. I think that when you want to be number one, and you want to be at the top of your game. I don't think it's just about being a king or a queen. I think it's about being at the top of something or being the best that you have to, you know, you, you, yeah, it's not gonna be an easy ride. You know what I'm saying? I originally made this flower crown for my shocker dolls, but when I put them on their head, they said, girl, if you don't get this off my head, so I had to take it off and find something else because the energy wasn't right. <laughs> Next, you're going to take some tool, cut it into strips or whatever colors you like, and then you're going to loop it in the back, or you could, you know, use it all the, I'm sorry, loop it all the way around the flower crown, but it's completely up to you. I mean, it's just, you know, you're just being artistic, so just create it however you want. I just thought having it hang in the back would look really nice.
you're going to simply create a loop using the tool and you're going to take the tail end of the tool and pull it in through the loop around the wire and that is it's the same way you would make a tool skirt and that's how you're going to add the little I don't know little tool fringes to the back of the crown mermaid I don't know if you noticed but in the beginning of this video I have some pictures of some other sock dolls that I created and the these dolls are I made them using socks but it's a very simplistic pattern and I am billing it as the easiest fastest and least expensive doll you'll ever make and you can make this doll with button features or no matter how, if you want to be elaborate if you want to um, needle sculpt their face if you want to paint on their face I am going to show you how to make a very simple pattern I've been timing myself it takes it, I can't get it past 30 minutes yet it's because of the hair but the doll itself take about 15 minutes to make and I'm going to be showing you how to make this doll um, in the next video and I'm also going to show you the jewel version which is she's gonna look like a little cute girl I know there's a doll inside of you who is just dying to come to life but only you can breathe life into her thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.